unfortunately it's another one of those days. Very humid again. It's sprinkled a few times this morning. The humidity is just up there. And my pain levels are up there. I've taken some tramadol, which is my extra pain that I can take. Don't really think it's done anything. So really the best thing is for me just to keep my mind occupied and to take my mind off the pain because you just sit there and you just feel it even more. So I've just been watching some YouTube. I think shortly I'll go have a bath, have a nice cool bath. And that might help. Usually a warm bath helps, but I don't want to have a too warm a bath because it's so hot. Again, luckily I don't have anything in particular to do today. I've got some medication. I've got to refill a weekly medication and sort of empty some bins and stuff. So it's just a few little bits and pieces. So I'll be able to get that done. And I've ordered some groceries. Kevin's going to pick them up on his way home from work. So hopefully, because often I pick up in the afternoon. I did yesterday. I was feeling a lot better sort of probably four or five o'clock. So hopefully the same thing will happen today and then I'll be feeling okay to put the groceries away. If not, I'll just get them away anyway and uh, do all the, like, wash all the fruit and veggies tomorrow, but I can get everything packed away. So that's done. Dinner is, I don't know, I've got a plan for dinner anyway. <laughs> Can't remember what it is now. But yeah, I've got that planned. Oh, it's the freezer meal we're going to have last night. So I just, as I just said, that with tortillas. And we've got a heap of packets of tortillas. So it's one thing to sort of try and get through before we move. So yeah, that's dinner. It was a camping chili dish or something that I was originally going to have them away for the weekend and ended up just making up and freezing another night. I had it before, it was quite nice from memory. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Anything else? I don't think so. Luckily, I got a few bits and pieces on yesterday. So, as you saw, I'll just see if I pick up later on. I'll just get some things done. If not, that's okay. I'll work online. I can, same as yesterday, I can edit video, I can work on the photo book that I started. Uh, yeah, I think that's all good to do. I forgot to get Kevin to fix the scanner, so I still can't do that, which is annoying because that would have been a a good thing. But we'll get we'll get to that eventually, and I'll get going. So sorry, this is not going to be an exciting vlog because it's now been days where I've been basically out of action. Just got a few bits and pieces, so no dog walk today. Obviously, you can tell I'm, I'm worse than I was yesterday. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything else to, <laughs> I haven't been doing anything, so there's nothing much to update you on. Oh, okay, there is one thing I don't think I have told you before, that Christy has a moving out day. She's moving out two weeks on Saturday, I think. So like two and a half weeks, I think that's right. Oh, three weeks, that must be two and a half weeks. Moving to Canberra, she found a place to rent. Like us, she looked on Facebook. Well, she, she decided to take our idea of looking on Facebook and she looked on Facebook and found a place that's just for rent for three months. So that's kind of perfect. Even more perfect. It's a lady's first time renting out her underneath the area of her house. And if it goes well, then she can rent out more. So Christy, she wants to stay there more than three months because she really wanted a six months rent to start with. Um, but she should be able to extend that. So obviously she doesn't have a job yet. She's applied for heaps, hasn't heard back from any. So we are having a chat yesterday, last night, about what else she could look at if she still doesn't hear from, because she's not been hearing back from people. And she said she's applied for about 30 jobs. So uh, maybe she can go and introduce herself in person to like the university and stuff. And she actually was maybe thinking of trying to get into her honours program. No, she's done honours. The master's program for this year, she was going to take it off. I don't know. I don't know if she changed her mind or not. Obviously, don't want to waste a whole year. She needs to do some stuff, and she needs to be employed somewhat to afford to stay down there. She's got quite a bit saved up, she's being a minimalist and not having much of a social life, which is a sad thing. But it's obviously allowed her to save a lot of money. So she's got quite a bit of money stacked away, so she'll be right for the year. Even if she has to dip into that money, which she doesn't want to, but it's there if she needs to. Obviously, we could help out if we really needed to as well. But I think she'll be fine on her own. Um, 
So yeah, that's exciting for her. So well, Kevin's gonna rent a smaller truck at this time to get her stuff down there. It is a furnished apartment, just exactly what we're looking at really. So she'll just be taking her bits and pieces to use in now, but I think we're gonna take all her um, furniture and put it into storage down there. So either we take it down there and store it or it gets stored here. But we think it's probably best just to get it down because she does plan on buying a place down there when she gets a job. Because if she paces it's behind her, so yeah, hopefully she'll let's hear back from John for be good. And some, yeah, it's just hard. She says there's not a lot out there, and obviously everyone wants experience. But obviously there's all these graduates from you know the years that don't have experience. So, but I know two of her friends, uh, like um, Sarah, who's also got a psychology degree. She got a job in Melbourne. She'd have to change states, but her boyfriend's in Melbourne, so that's where she was looking anyway. And her support worker, Rose, has also got a job, I think, at Headspace here. So they've both only got degrees. Rose is doing her master's, or honours, in her, no, Rose is doing her master's at the moment. So there are jobs out there. you just got to be the right person for the job, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyway, that's exciting for her. She's excited about that. Probably a little bit nervous as well, but I'm kind of relieved that she'll be there'll be another family living above her so that kind of if she does have a an emergency or anything there's someone there that she can actually go and ask for help because she'll probably get to know them a little bit i also do have a friend that i haven't seen for years down there <laughs> there's down there too that i would call on if i needed to or if we needed to i'll probably give christy her phone number just in case but i mean i haven't even spoken to to lisa for oh, i don't even know a long time probably over 10 years but I know that she, if we needed help, she would help. I know that, you know, just one of those online people that you meet, you get on with and you just know that they would help out if needed. Um, okay, I'm going to go. And, um, yeah, that was a big chat. Okay. <laughs> well, today's been very much a write-off. I've just been doing some Alaska planning. I had my lunch, she had some potatoes. What Coda's waiting for? Some potatoes at the air fryer. Kevin just got home with the groceries, so I'm just gonna quickly put them away. And probably get a cup of tea and head back to the couch. I might take the doggies out for a swim actually, because it's pretty warm out there. We've actually, we've put the air conditioner on today because the temperature is um, not pleasant, too hot. <laughs> Sorry that I haven't vlogged really for quite a few days. I don't think I kind of I might have vlogged bits and pieces. I don't even know what I filmed the last number of days. I've still been having this lovely fibro flare, so I haven't really been doing much besides stuff online. Besides yesterday, the few days before that, we we're going in for a swim with the puppies in the afternoon because it's been pretty warm. But it's been so humid. It's humid again because it's rained this morning. Temperatures are down though, though now, so that's something. But my body has not been having a good time with this humidity, which is the reason I haven't really picked up the camera much. And the place we thought we'd got to move into has fallen through. You know, it was on Facebook, so. Kevin says, not that surprising, it's just disappointing because <laughs> the guy was away, away and they didn't really contact us and Kevin said that he was pretty sure it's not happening and he actually did a message from him today finally to say that no, it wasn't going ahead. So that's, um, and I could see last night, I looked at his Airbnb and he had two monthly long rentals, which would be more than what he would get from us for the four months. So, but he should have taken it off Facebook when he'd agreed for us to have it, but I don't know. I guess nothing's certain until it happens, is it? So <laughs> we're now stuck looking for somewhere else. I mean, not just so perfect because he only wanted up to a four or five month lease. So 
Now, that's what I'm gonna sit down and do now and apply to some places. I just don't, like for me to go and see them is a lot of like an effort, particularly when I'm suffering so much fibro pain at the moment. I don't wanna to have to go and traipse and see places if they won't accept a four months lease or a three months lease or whatever we want. You know, less than six months, that's for sure. So I'll have a look. There was a couple, well, there's one or two, one at least I know they wanted you, you to apply before you, you couldn't actually go and see it. They had a video online. So I'm going to apply for that one because that one looks pretty good, about the right size for us. We might just have to get bigger than what we want, but I just don't really want a big house and a big yard because that means we've got to look after it for four months. And I don't want that. I was so excited about the place that we're going to have at Bulleye because it was going to be uh, much smaller. I was so happy for that. Anyway, I've also started looking at places for like short term leases, like on stays, I think, have a few. And I've got a few marked, but we're having to go further afield, obviously, to get them at the price we would like to pay. And it's still going to be like twice what we're going to pay at um, Bulleye. But anyway, we might have to just have to find the money and. I just want to settle. I just want to know where I'm, go where I'm going and what we're doing as far as if the place is furnished, like if it was a stay that's furnished, then we don't have to take all our bits and pieces and we just leave everything for the removalists to pack up. But if we're going to be taking our own stuff with us or some stuff with us, then I kind of have to split everything in two. Things we take with us for the next four months and things that can just go into storage. <laughs> so I kind of want to know that. It's a rainy day out there. It's sort of stopped raining at the moment. I'm still hoping I might feel good enough to take the doggies out. Because even though I've been in the pool playing with them and stuff, except for yesterday, they, yesterday was a very boring day for them because I was just fibro -y. Kevin slept for a good portion of the day. So it was a really um, kind of a non-eventful day. But they did go to visit mum and dad for a while. And, run, and Cody in particular was running backwards and forwards between the two houses. So he got a little bit of exercise then. I was going to do the snuffle mat for them yesterday to sort of get their brains going, but um, I just packed away storage, like so much of our stuff. So I couldn't do that. Maybe I could make one for them or I don't know. I'll try and, I'll try and do something for them today if I don't manage a walk because they need some stimulation, but they're so well behaved. They're so good. Like they just, they just lie around and I feel bad, but they seem like they're just relaxed, but I'm sure they get a bit bored. We're not doing anything much, especially if they've got no one to follow around. <laughs> so Kevin, you had, he had a big day on Saturday. I think that's why he slept yesterday, because he worked hard on Saturday with Ron, our handyman helper, uh, sorting out or labelling cables throughout the house. So I think that's why he was slept, because he was exhausted. And the dogs had kept busy following them around <laughs> for mum. A good portion of Saturday and we had a swim, so. <sighs> All right. I'll um, get on to applying to some of these places and see if we can find ourselves a home. Because we've got three weeks or something now. Christy moves in under two weeks. We're away one week. So I've still got four weeks, three and a half weeks or something. So, But yeah, time's, time's getting on. <laughs> the weeks are going. I just wish this fibro flare would finish so I could get on with things, but... It's hard. I mean, I've done bits and pieces. Like I did a bit of my food prep over the weekend, but it took a long time to get things done. So I just don't get much done. I didn't film, it was an effort. I'm just so there you guys. I'm a little sniff walk. That's why you're a bit puffy now. I'm gonna pick up after them outside, which will be fun because it's been raining. But yeah, at least they've got some sniffing exercise. Yeah, they don't know. After all the dogs I've had, how good sniffing is for puppies. <laughs> now much of a workout sniffing is. There's some videos, so uh, when I get the spatial tent set, I can see what Coda looks like. And Dewey is over there. But mostly Coda bear. Good morning, everyone. I am... I'm feeling better. I still don't feel amazing, but I am determined that I'm going to have a better day today. Yesterday was not a good one. The last week's not been good at all. I think I had like eight days of really not being able to do much. Just little bits and pieces. 
So we'll be taking it easy. <laughs> it's raining outside, so no walk at this stage. I think it's going to stop, so I'll try and get the doggies out if it does. But in the meantime, I thought if we don't go out, it'd be nice to have a bath. It's a rainy, miserable day outside. It'd be a good day to have a bath, but she and I am a bit sore. So I'm kind of thinking that might happen. I'm not sure. I may or may not have a bath. But I've um, repacked Kevin's lunch. I cut him up a mango and cut him up some strawberries. I was a good wife this morning and went a little bit extra for his breakfast, for his um, lunch or snacks, whatever he has. And I've just gotten up and I thought I'm going to come and make this. It's an orange slice that I bought. Choc orange slice, I think it's called actually. I thought it got baked. But I just was reading through the instructions and it goes in the fridge, which makes sense. It's got coconut oil in it. So I bought it from the uh, raw bulk food shop. So it came, I've got one bag there with some stuff. <laughs> and then I think this is, uh, this is bag number two for like an icing, I guess it looks like icing sugar. And just got to add a few things to it and yeah, and then put it in the fridge. So I'm going to do that now because I've had it for, since before, since before we went away. So I've had it for well over a month, maybe longer. So I want to get it made and enjoyed and hopefully it's nice. <laughs> I love chocolate orange stuff, so I thought it should be a winner. And obviously it's vegan and reasonably healthy. It's still a treat, obviously, but better than, you know, other stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to make that now and I'm going to put another cup of tea, see how the rain's going. Then we'll get to 10 and it's still raining. Then I'll just go ahead and have a bath or a shower and get ready for the day. I was going to do dogs uh, meals today. So there, where are we? Somewhere over there. <laughs> They're there to remind me to cook them. I've got to cut up some pumpkin or sweet potato to add into that. I'll make my arm milk, my overnight oats. That's what I've got for essential kind of things. And then we'll see from there how I'm going. If I get that done, well, that's going to be better than other days, I guess. <laughs> and dinner is some leftovers from the other night, so I don't need to worry about dinner at all. So, yeah. Hoping for a better day today. <laughs> I tried where I lick my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna look that um, spatula. Very nice. So obviously you saw it sort of flung everywhere at one stage. There's a few bits on the floor waiting for the dogs to come and clean up. Not much thing. I pay a little teeny bit each for them. <laughs> um, so I think it's gonna taste good. I just don't know if it's actually gonna work like if it's gonna hold together. I don't know about that. Um, but anyway, it was easy. It's done. I used what I had. Again, I'm working on what I've got in there. I've still got a vegan halloumi to make and a vegan bread. But after today, it's going to be hot for like the next eight days, like high 20s, 30, or low 30s. So it's going to be pretty warm. So not probably bread and soup weather. We might not even get that before we move. <laughs> but I might have to make the bread and let's have it some other way. Uh... Yeah, I should watch for a cooler day and then try and do the bread and some. We've got tin soup and I think I've got some soup in the freezer as well. So either of those would um, do. Because they're really working on what we have using up. So that's that two bags out of the out of the fridge and an orange used up. So 
without spending any extra money. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't rain. We're just heading out on a walk. The forecast says no rain, but every time I look it changes its mind. We get wet, we get wet. Not the end of the world. At least it's warm. I don't mind so much getting wet when it's warm. It'd be nice to get them out for a, a decent walk. We'll probably just go around the block. Get a 20, 25 minute walk in probably. They, ha they hate these halties on their noses though, but they just better behave with them. But they run away from me. I guess because they've got long snout fluff. Since we're about to leave this place, I'm going to show you this is the driveway that is behind our house. We walk around the block, that's our house just there, the blue one. If I walk forward, you can see Christy's bedroom window. That's Christy's room. And so we often walk around and they do their sniff walks down here and stuff. It also makes up our block <laughs> and the passageway through. You can see that rain sort of. Hovering around. Oh no, come out of there. There's berry plants in there. We'll get stuck in your fluffs. So this driveway goes down to an over 55 resort, like a sort of mobile home kind of place. And just up here near this fire hydrant is where we're going to cross back through. But yeah, this is often where we come for our sniff walks. That's where I got attacked by mozzies down here. I can show you all the places now that we're moving. <laughs> this is one of my favourite flowers. Oh, I've still got more, it's just the must come in bits and pieces. Oh, this is very good timing because it's just starting to sprinkle. And we're just almost home. It's got us just about 25 minutes walk. The neighbours have spotted us. <laughs> I've had my breakfast. Oh my gosh, my hair doing. <laughs> I've had my breakfast, I've cooled down. And I went in looking at apartments again. Oh my gosh, I thought I was having a break today, but I'm going to stop now. Kevin just applied for a few more that I'd already sort of starred or highlighted. And he said, we start looking at something in Canberra. I said, that's why we're actually going to one this afternoon. I don't think I've mentioned that yet. It's one that we came across really early. We couldn't work out what was wrong with it because it's been available for like two months. Backs onto the expressway. So we're going down to see exactly how noisy it is because otherwise it appears it would be pretty perfect for us. I think I might have already talked to you about this. I've been a very, dis, what's the word, um, disjointed vlogger lately. I do apologize for that. It's just been all over the place. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> I'm just, just all jointed in life at the moment. So yeah, I'm just trying to remember to update you when I can, but I'm editing videos and going, geez, I didn't, it, hardly picked up the camera that day. I might've vlogged, I think yesterday I vlogged in the morning and then that's it. Didn't vlog all the rest of the day. I guess because my fibro has been bad too. Which, thankfully, it's still there today, but it's definitely nowhere near as bad. Like, I'm not dreading the thought of having to go out this afternoon. Obviously, I walked all around the block. So, I'm obviously a lot better than I've been. Even though I'm still a bit sore. So, <laughs> I'm a lot better. Which is fantastic because it's been, it's been a bit tough. Like, you know, that's it's probably been the worst flare I've had in a very long time. It's been terribly humid. Who knows? Hopefully it will settle down and not flare back up again. Anyway, I think, what's I going to do? I think I might jump up, get my showers on, get my stocking on and everything. And then I'll, I've got a bit of stuff to do in the kitchen. I'll get the oh, milk made, overnight oats done, dog dinner on, get all that sort of stuff sorted before it's lunchtime. Because gosh, the day just goes. Anyway, that was, I did get sidetracked doing that for Kevin as well. And so I just look at places again and think, oh, I don't want to see any more apartments. I'm really, really hoping this one in Kayama is okay or suitable. Because I'm pretty sure they would agree to the four months because I said it's been available for two months and they haven't had to rent it out. So I'll just have to see. I'm also not sure at the dog area. There's a big backyard. It's a bit like it's a property. Um, so the... Even though I say like it backs onto the expressway, it's a long way away, like relatively long way away. But we're kilometres from the expressway here, and sometimes at night we can hear it when it's really still night. So <laughs> just depend on how loud it is. I'm guessing it's loud, but it's also it's only a two bedroom, and it might not suit a lot of people 
the layout, but it would be perfect for us. And it's got the big storage area underneath, which means you wouldn't have to rent a storage area as well. So really, on paper, it looks great for us. <laughs> we'll just have to go and see it in real life. And um, yeah, see how it, how it is. Okay, it's a little bit out of the main town, so you'd have to drive into town all the time, not a big deal. I only probably go out once or twice a week anyway, as you guys know. I think I'm about to walk around the area. So it's all property sort of out there. Anyway, we'll see it today. Let's hope that it is the winner for us. That's one of those to Kevin last night, so it's just, it's really hard not knowing what we're doing. I just want to know where we're going. Yeah, we had it, well, we thought it was sorted, but that guy let us down. Anyway, hopefully things will work out better. Claim is a better location for us because it's closer to Shell Cove where we're going. Rather than going north, we're going south. And I love Kayama, so wouldn't mind living down there for a few months, that's for sure. All right, yeah, I'll go up and I should have a quick shower. I won't, I should probably wash my hair, but I'm not going to, because it's, yeah, I'll just do it tomorrow. I've already got the arms in the food processor with the water and the dates, they're already just to blend, and then I'll get that, get that all done. Treats, you know that they have a treat before they go to bed. It's the thing that's uh, started in the last year, but everyone seems to be out of things. So I'm going to try making some things. I can make these. The only rolled oats are banana and peanut butter. So I'm going to make them tomorrow, and it sounds very easy. So I want some. If I can make something easy, I'm happy to make them. They last a week, so and they can be frozen. There you go. Oh, I'll try these tomorrow so we can find some other ones as well.
Just drop the dogs off at mum and dad's. I was just going to show you this. They've got this like, for sale sign up. I was going to show you before. Up in the car with Kevin. I haven't even seen it yet. Looks like we just had a for sale sign there. <laughs> oh, it looks nice. That's, that's okay, we can do that. I'd rather do it a few weeks at this end and just have the four months and that would work out all right for us anyway. Anyway, <laughs> that's what we're up to at the moment with the whole moving thing. crazy old mess at the moment can you guess what i'm doing again i am looking at houses again looking on facebook this time there's not a lot around our area besides one that we love well it's not there anymore but there's not a lot i don't have put any message to anyone in like the illawarra area where we live um, but there's a whole there's quite a few in canberra and i think we might just miss out on one that would be good 
because I sent a message back to me saying, oh, we just leave, they just leave it this morning. But they said, it would have been perfect. Got another one that seems to be okay. It's a problem is to go and view it now, like, let's right, see what Kevin says about one that I'm looking at now. It's like, do we just wait on these ones here and hope that someone will accept a form of the form? Four months. That's what I like about Facebook because you can just ask a question and get your answer straight away. Like I've already got, I sent three. I've already had, I've already leased, and I've already had. It's available. Are oh, we still interested? There's an open house tomorrow, four o'clock in Canberra. Canberra, for those of you who don't know, is about a three-hour drive from here. So uh, you can do it in a day, and I might go tomorrow. I guess if we're really interested in this one, just to check it. But it looks like it's a new place, so it should be fine. So Kevin says anyway, and the other one I haven't heard back from yet. And I'm still looking through the list, so there's still more to check out. I'm, I'm not sure what I was going to be doing today, but it's safe to say I haven't done it. I haven't even had breakfast. My goodness, I got very sidetracked. <laughs> well, Kevin's sort of doing stuff and I'm doing stuff, so. <sighs> My eyes are going funny from looking at things again. The one I got all excited about before, I think I mentioned to you in Canberra, it turns out that's through a real estate agent. It says on Facebook, which I find annoying and very misleading because you think I'm going to be dealing with the actual owner and then you're not. Anyway, it's a possibility. I think Kevin was going to ring her or send an applicant. Yeah, because a lot of the camera ones will realise they want you to go to the place before you can apply, whereas in Wollongong, most of them you can apply for before you even go and see them. So, which is good because I don't think there's any point in going if they don't want to um, offer us. I, mean, I guess it's both ways, isn't it? But especially even with my fibro and Kevin working, we just don't have the time and the energy to really go and looking at places that are going to say, no, we're not doing four months or, you know, those dogs aren't suitable or whatever. So we really need to be approved for that at least, if nothing else, before we'll let it go see it. I think I'm going to duck up. Have a, I've got to wash my hair today. Okay, I'm going to duck up and have a shower. I just realised my psoriasis is making my scalp scrapes itchy. I should have my breakfast, shouldn't I? I didn't have to wash my hair, but I didn't wash it yesterday, so I really need to do that. I'll have my breakfast and then I'll go and wash my hair. Uh, luckily, I don't have, I've got to the dog's dinner. I think that's only essential and work all we're having for dinner tonight. Again, there's meals in the freezer, I can grab something out. I might actually do that. I saw there's some dal in the freezer, so I might just have that for dinner tonight. Or a lasagna, I've got some corn cobs. So yeah, I'll just get dinner from the freezer tonight. Oh, have my breakfast. <laughs> Probably a good start before it lunchtime rolls around. I just remembered I've got washing to hang out as well. Oh my goodness. So I'll go and do that. The sun is supposed to rain this afternoon, but the sun has literally just came out then. All right. We'll do clothes, then breakfast, then a shower. Yes, I am going to have my shower now. <laughs> Panic, I need to wash my hair. Uh, we might have found a place. <laughs> Well, I, you know, don't even one of the ones I've mentioned yet. <laughs> it's one that's about, where are we? It's probably 15 minutes drive from here. So not too far. It's between here and Wollongong. So, but uh, it looks really cute, actually. It looks really nice. It's only a small place, which is what we want. It's got two bedrooms. It's got a yard, um, but it does look really nice. It looks really nice. Big deck overlooking like trees and stuff off into the distance. <laughs> it's got a bit of a view. Looks really nice. And Kevin ran the lady and spoke to her. So yeah, she's happy with a four month at least. Well, a minimum of four months. And obviously then we can extend it if we need to. Fingers crossed we do not need to, but you know, if we have to for whatever reason. And she's doing the rental herself. So <sighs> sounds good. So I'm just gonna go see the place and um, just check. There is no parking, uh, but she's just parking on the street. The street's quiet, so. That'll be okay. <laughs> so, oh gosh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Cause I just want to. I just want to. I don't have to spend more time looking at places. I am done with this. <laughs> Very much so. It's been hours, haven't I? Well, you guys don't know, but you hear me talk about it. You guys are probably getting sick of it as well. Anyway, I'll go have the shower. And I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna get much done today because it's just one of those days. It's just turned into a funny one. Might try and vacuum maybe, but we'll see. 
go do dogs dinner. All right. I better go shower and wash my hair in case this happens today. I don't know when this is going to happen, but oh no, it won't happen today because she's got tenants in it, so it's going to ha it's going to have to be organised with them, obviously. Yeah, so it won't be today, but I'll still go have that shower. It's been such a funny day again today, so I was just getting my lunch. <laughs> I decided to do some falafel wraps because I didn't know what it felt like, and we had some falafels in the freezer. And Kevin's not a fan, so I'm going to eat them myself. So I've just got things there. But I did find a very mouldy hummus because, if you recall, that one in there, and I said to you that I will lose things in there, and yes, I have. Mm. So this is now the chocolate bin. Most of it's Kevin's, but I've got a few things in there. Got some um, orange chocolate from New Zealand, which is vegan, mm. and a big block of dark chocolate at the back I got for Christmas. So that's now a chocolate, which is kind of good because I don't want to see chocolate whenever I open the fridge. On the other side, we have eggs, which again... I don't use if I want them I'll be going for them but they're not going to go off as quickly as you know things hidden in there so the butter has now gone into here because as you see I've got plenty of room in here like this is kind of the dairy stuff I put that in there that's cheese so it's kind of cheese and dairy draw now makes sense to put the butter in there and then this is a kind of my vegan this is the vegan drawer I get here's the, the vegan drawer so that I think will work a lot better oh, I still love my fridge still love it Look at all the space we have. Which I need to get that out to do some dog vegetables as well. And I've taken out the watermelon. I'll just shut up for Christy and myself. And look, you can see there is still space. But I think that was a good little, good little change. I think it'll work out much better. And obviously things won't go mouldy because they won't get buried in that drawer. All right, I'm also boiling some water because I haven't done their grains. I'm going to do them some pasta, which they love to have for dinner occasionally. So they'll be happy. Do that and some veggies for them and maybe something else in there. Actually, I've got some um, cream that went off a couple of days ago, so I'll give them that and some um, chia pudding. This is a slice I made yesterday. As you can see, I tried it. I'm not a fan. The chocolate, the icing was really good. Like I licked the spoon. The rest of it together, it's just, I mean, you could eat it. It's edible, but I don't see the point of eating something like that unless you're really enjoying it so i'm just going to throw that in the bin luckily it wasn't too time consuming to do i'm glad i don't have anything particular to do this afternoon because my fibro pain has just kicked in something oh you know why it started raining and it's probably gotten humid I wonder if it works that quickly. I don't know. Anyway, it has started raining in the last 10 minutes. And my pain has just gone in the last 10 minutes. I'm just thinking, my God, is this getting worse? Why? My legs, now it's in my arms as well. So at least I haven't got much to do. I've just got to, the dog's dinner's done. I've just got to dish it out later on. And I sort out our own dinner. I moved my clothes that were out in the sun undercover because I knew the rain was coming. And I think that's going to work. I might finish off with a, a, a vlog and then I'm going to work on my photo book, which is what I was doing before. I'm not looking at any more houses now, at least until we see this one on Friday afternoon. Did I tell you we're seeing it Friday afternoon? I might not have. I got an appointment at five o'clock on Friday to see it. And I actually found a video of it online from when it got sold about a year and a half, two years ago. So obviously pretty current. And it looks pretty good. There's a few little things. There's no car park, no garage or carport or anything. You have to park on the street and there's stairs down to the house because it's on a slopey block, which we've had before. The bedroom and the kitchen and the lounge room, everything's all on one level. Big deck on the same level. So once we get into that level, we won't really need to move unless I want to go downstairs to the laundry or downstairs to the backyard, which the dogs will obviously have to do. Big, Quite a big yard for them. Not huge, but ample, big. Bigger than what they've got here for a yard. <laughs> so it'll be a big yard for them. Um, so yeah, that looks really good. I think it ticks nearly all the boxes. They're the only boxes that aren't ticked really, as far as I can tell. Uh, should be really lovely. So I can't wait to see it because I think it's ours if we go and it's we're happy with it. And so having seen the video, looked at photos, I looked on Google Maps, looked at Google Street View. I kind of know, like, I'm glad I kind of know that they could be, that they are a thing. Like, especially the steps down to the front door, because I might get there and that'd be a big shock. 
I was the same as the other one. I'd done so much research, <laughs> the one we looked at the other day, that when I got there, I knew the place. I just, just had to check that it wasn't mould. There's no mould and things like that around, which there wasn't. But um, as far as the layout of the place, I kind of knew most of it. But, you know, probably was 90% of the place I was how I had worked out it was kind of thing or what I'd seen online. We didn't know about the backyard not being off fenced in that in that one, but this one is. I think it will be just a much better. I can see myself here. When I came back from the other one to care, I think I said that night, I said, I can't really see myself living in the other one or staying there for like four months. I just can't see it. I don't know what my days would look like. I can't imagine myself there because it's so different to what we have now. Where's this other place? Definitely can see myself there. Can see myself enjoying the big back deck. Particularly we've got March, April and May, which are the really nice weather months, I think, anyway. It's cooling down, but it's still warm. Beautiful. So, uh, I'll be using that big bag deck. Be lovely. So I'm excited about it. There's a spa, a nice bath, a spa bath. The big sort of old-fashioned triangular ones, but that's fine. It means Kevin and I can have a bath together, which would be nice. It looks really, really nice. The kitchen's all nice. Dishwasher, which other place didn't have. <laughs> I think it'll be much more suitable for us. But I can see myself there. And I can see myself being really happy there. It's not like I'm going in and out of the house all day long every day or anything like that. So to go out for a dog walk or go out the, a couple of times a week, I might otherwise leave the house and have to walk up the stairs. It's not a, not a big deal. I can do it. I've got stairs here. I do every day as well. Anyway, I'm going to get onto this video and then photo book.